Live and direct, nigga. Live and motherfucking. Direct, nigga might get killed for this shit. Nigga just might die for this. Nigga here, might man. die for this you shit. You feel me, man? Nigga. Tell him what you what you rap, Dylan. The Brother Guys Podcast, man. Gang. What's going on, y'all? Jay Miller here. Gang. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Malcolm is important. What's good? We it's pie. T Rose. Three T Rose with three O's. Live from Ratchet Studios every Wednesday. Real pod shit. Hey. My brother, 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 that's my guy, that's my guy, that's my guy, that's my guy. My brother, 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 that's my guy, that's my guy, that's my guy, that's my guy. Oh, we party. We party. Go ahead, What's going on, everybody? This is your host, Jay Miller, the Brother Guys Podcast. We're back with episode 220. God. God a, lot of, a lot of episodes. Yes, 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 yes. That nigga Swizzy's God damn it. Got Malcolm supporting to the left of me. Oh, and my girl just liked my message. She heard me talking about it. I got you, Rose. We connected boards. like that. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And um, I wanted to call back um to an episode. Uh, we were about to get into it, but we didn't put a pen in it. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, you remember the educational system and like kids not knowing how to read and shit, and kids being addicted to tablets. It's the new. It's shit. the fourth season of The Wire. Yeah, yeah. it's the digital it's, version. Digital version. Yeah, facts. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad, and I know like y'all people you know probably see um, every with that going crazy uh, via like you know TikTok and shit like that. Um, but there, there's been times where when I've walked into my son's class or just doing homework with him and just like seeing the landscape of like how kids are, are and like hearing teachers talk about how certain kids are like falling behind, reading newsletters and seeing that like 12 year olds are on a first grade reading leather level. It's like, damn, like. That's just kind of sad, and it makes it. If anything, you know, it would, you would think that it would make the parents want to be more involved to ensure their their kids aren't a part of that group that's falling behind. But a lot of parents are just on some like, it's your job to teach, so teach. When it's like, bro, it's more than just your kid going to school that that's going to help them prosper. I would put me personally. I would definitely put way more to blame on the parents versus the school system for sure, for sure. Because bro. Everything that goes into that, like how you're supposed to act, how you're supposed to behave in classroom, in the classroom, and all that shit, that all stems from the well, crib. Stems from how they're coming up at the crib. Yeah, because you should come to school and already know some of the shit they're gonna teach you. Facts. I know I did growing up. Facts. There was a lot of shit I already knew. You wanna know something? One thing I do with him, as far mm-hmm. as like homework and shit. What you do? I'll I'll like damn right teach ahead of the curriculum. Come on now, let him know. I want to show my feet this episode. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll damn near. I'll uh, damn near. Yeah. <laughs> I'll damn near um, oh, this teach scary. ahead of the curriculum, bro. So, like, I want to say when we, were, when we were in first grade, I already had him kind of working on double-digit multiplication in, in addition. See? You said first grade? Yeah. Yeah, see, that's what I was on. Yeah. But look how it turned up. It's no problem with being ahead of the curve or having <laughs> your kid ahead of the curve. Uh, that's a fact. You should yeah. definitely want to teach at the crib and... Uh, Homeschool. I mean, not even just that. Behavioral things, socializing things, fucking reading a book. Like a home school. You spending school time talking this. to your children. Don't just put them in front of a TV or give them a tablet. And if you're going to do all that, make it make sense as to why you're putting them in front of the TV. Yeah, give, give them, them some education to watch, if yeah. anything. Yeah. Don't just throw them in front of it. All right, here you go, nigga. Like, Roblox it, for 12 hours is crazy. Is Implement insane. some discipline. Yeah. Did Have a so nice cool. balance. Because as a kid, you still got to enjoy being a kid. Yeah, but you definitely for sure. can enjoy learning things that are gonna help you when you go to school or just in the world. Mm-hmm. You can make some enjoyment out of that. But one thing I've learned is that kids these days are different. Like my mom's was telling me about one of my little cousins. This nigga has no interest on in driving. He about to be eighteen this year. He has no doesn't interest care about learning how to drive at all. Zero. No incentive to want to drive like. Nothing don't drives be outside. Him. Nigga don't want to. Uh, From on what I'm told, time. zero interest. Nigga don't want to. But they don't have to. We can call Uber. Facts. Call Uber. Go to work. Facts. We, we didn't, didn't have we that, didn't luxury. that luxury. Nah. Damn, I didn't even think about it like that. Nah. If we, if we going, had, nigga, if we had Uber in high school, I'd have been fucking way more hoes. Calling the Uber real quick. 
Nigga, that's why they got Nigga, that. And you can get gift cards. You don't even need a credit card. Facts. You can just go buy with cash. You can get a cash app card, nigga. Just download the app. Facts. The school cops would have been getting... <laughs> oh, they'd be like, oh, nigga, you think I'm going to school? Shit. Damn. Dad, you're not picking me up? Bet I'm going to call an Uber. I'm you know how many times I had to wait at that Pike Library for a ride, nigga? No. Imagine what I'm, I'm just saying, like, oh. a bunch of times. He said no. <laughs> a bunch of times. Not getting home to like, five, six. <laughs> yes. Because parents don't get off of work, so you're just waiting at the library. Oh, yeah. yeah. Facts, facts. Just waiting. Facts. Yeah, that's crazy. Just waiting, bro. So I y'all don't have, 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 have a Marty to call to come pick y'all up. I, I was the big brother. I was yeah. about to say, I am the big Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, nah. I'm glad I look. That's one thing them niggas did. Even Marcus was pissed. He said, that's sometimes. one thing them niggas did. <laughs> <laughs> Not even trying to come off like that. Not even trying to come off like that. That's crazy. I'm about to say. But I Marty was... for sure pulling up. Nah. For didn't sure. Have didn't have none of that. I had to wait until some of my niggas started getting whips before I could make them calls. So I had to wait a little bit. It wasn't instantly always like that. So I ain't gonna hold you. When I did finally get the whip, I was the friend that was. But I fuck if I if I fuck with you, I will give you a ride. If I ain't like that, too. you wouldn't get into my car. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or I'll like, be like, Eddie, bro, where you going? It's He's only like, one time I got used by a bitch. That's it. It's only one time. To like take Rock, it home? Rise for school. Yeah. I, yeah. Y'all had cars in high school? I yeah. did. And yeah. that's lit. I have I have funny I have a funny story about that, which you just said to us. Yeah, but I'm not gonna tell it. It's all right. Why not? It's all right. No, it's you want I, me to tell I, no, I don't yeah, I don't need to say that on here. I was gonna say mine ain't that extensive. You want me to tell It's mine? hilarious, but I'm not gonna Oh it's my hilarious. god. Why would you so tell why you say audience? Well, no, well, why well, would you tell our audience how funny no, this, you're not gonna talk about? This is this is this is an off mic conversation. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. You, you can't you can't make it podcast. You can't alter it. I might bring it back in the future as somebody else that's not me. So stay okay. tuned. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. Yeah, Subscribe I, to Rack I, I, Studios I, I let channel to figure out. Yeah, let them forget and then bring it back. <laughs> I might fuck up be like, is this the story you wanted us to think about? <laughs> I, like, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea. <laughs> you allowed to be like, you lied to your dad? That's Facts. crazy. You know what I did what you're talking about, Malcolm? I have no idea. I don't remember that conversation. Can. I don't remember That's that That's a good conversation, episode. though. What? Like the times you've been used and had to realize you was being used. Oh. Yeah. See, but this is the thing, though. The reason why I can't tell that is because I definitely, like, flipped it and made it benefit myself as well. I know this story. Now that he said that, I know this story. I don't think I know the story. I know stories around this story also. Okay, let's keep going. So, I just kind of put two or two We on the same page, Jayla? Okay. That's crazy. Not that story. <laughs> Two how you be lost, man? Me and Jalen, we we leaked. Y'all have more conversations, apparently. I don't know. We might be Wi-Fi routers too. No, I think <laughs> no, T Rose, I think I've told you this story before. And you just looked at me and shook your head. And this is and this yeah. came that back. That sounds like a- <laughs> this goes back to the don't this go back to the APC story? Yes. Yes, exactly. Yeah. See y'all back. Hey, look. Hey, hey T Rose, what am I doing right now? <laughs> On camera. All uh, right, never mind. Oh, never mind. <laughs> So, so to change the topic, what's what song lyrics? Oh shit! Like what's something that really, really resonates with y'all that y'all just think of at random moments? A song lyric, like a line or a bar, anything like that. Depends on the situation, but um, life as a shorty shouldn't be so rough. Mm. Mm, I think said tough. I think he said rough. He said rough. He might have said rough. Yeah. Oh, that's Inspector Deck. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of Nas. Yeah, you're right. He did say rough. Mm. Ooh, what you know about that? <laughs> yeah, that's just, I mean, it's 22 long hard the fact, years. It's still, ooh! I'm gonna say, besides the fact that it's a ball, like, it's just, it, it's a bar and it flows in that motherfucker. That, just that sentence alone, literally, it's just. I can't think of any lyrics right now that, like, really have been, like, resonate with me recently. Because mm-hmm. everything that used to resonate used to be just, like, angry shit. I haven't been in, like, a angry, 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 like, space in a long time. Another one is to keep the faith hook. Um, keep the faith by Michael Jackson. Mm. <laughs> that hook, like Michael, I was telling you, that's like that's it's it's dangerous's version of Man in the Mirror. Yeah, that's I was that, just about to say. Yeah, it's that. I'm about to say Man in the Mirror more more my more my speed. Charles, when you first heard Human Nature, how many times did you play it back? <laughs> when he first heard it, he was yeah. like four. Yeah. Okay, when you first so heard when, it, I had when you first heard it, and and you were comprehending, this is fire, yeah. and. You had control to just play it back again. How many times did you do that? Bro, I broke my CD. You did? Yeah, I, this is... Okay, so when I was able to actually, like, comprehend the fact that this is human nature and yeah. this motherfucker is like that, mm-hmm. this was the 25th anniversary of Thriller. So this is, like, 2008, 2007. Mm. 
So when I got that album and I was able to play it in my radio, yeah, this is a minute ago. I had the radio with the CD player the on CD top. CD on top? Yep. I had one of those too. That motherfucker. Great times. Yeah. Yeah. I vividly remember, besides going to all the 2008 versions of the song, just to hear what he did different shit. Yeah. I vividly remember playing that latter half of Thriller. Because I had already knew about the first half. The first half is... Nigga, one be started some beat it, Billy Jean Thriller. Yeah. Like, you know about that already. But that latter half is what I, at the time, I felt was underrated, but I didn't obviously know the bigger scale because I was young. Wanna be starting something that slept on. It is. I really disagree. It is. It's really funny to say any one of his hits is slept yeah, on. Yeah, I was, I was say, making nigga, a joke. Okay. But, <laughs> but yeah. But see, as a kid, I'm thinking these are underrated because I know about those first half. Like, those are prominent, nigga. So. Yeah, I say for me, bro, because mom Felicia, shout out mom Felicia. She was she's a big Michael Jackson fan as well, mm-hmm. and she has all them shits on CD, bro. Like till this day, bro, all them. That's shits. where that envy come into play, because I got and, robbed. And I got started like we were because you probably damn, I don't know if you're old enough, bro. This is like 2002, and there is a literal website called Michael Jackson. This is before YouTube called MichaelJackson.com, where you could watch all of his videos, like literally every single video he ever dropped. And it was on, it was in, um, it would be like a link and it would open up and be an actual Windows player <laughs> video that you could watch. I'm not going to say I didn't know, but I mean, shit, okay. I can't recall it. But yeah, it was an actual like website and shit. And I would just play back that and um, I, like really it would, for me, it would be the Remember the Time video and the black and white video. Those are like one of my two favorites. The full one? Yeah. And then. Um, With the Panther? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then. um. Hold up. Doing black and white, right? Yeah. The end. Yeah. 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 You know what they I, said? I, that, shit was... Was, uh, that video is long, but that, like, I don't understand what he was trying to do, bro, but, like. I mean, he clearly did it. The he did said, uh, No. Which he mic even... was that? What do you mean? Black and white? That was dangerous. Yeah. No. Which mic was that? Oh, like, like, as far as, like, complexion? Jackson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was white. That was, yeah. He was pale. He yeah. was just capping for himself. Trying, yeah, to, make, he, trying he, to bring everybody else into his problem. Yeah, he had the Martha Stewart going on for sure. He was trying to make it seem like he was making it for the people, but it was really just him being I mean, it probably himself. sparked with him, yeah. <laughs> but he was like, does it matter? And first of all, I'm black, but since y'all want to go there, it don't matter. One love. It does matter. Well, I, I only, I only we, we, we definitely need him on our team. I was going to say, I only say that about the human nature shit, though, T. Rose. I remember at a point in time, I thought that song was like the greatest thing I had ever heard. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember this is back in before I had an iPod I had like a little bullshit ass mp3 player that could only hold like eight songs and I remember that used to always crack the final eight songs that motherfucker made it regardless <laughs> he said no matter what human nature on this bitch how long is that song you probably uh, could have put nine on there if you would have put a shorter song on there. well see no but see you know what you know what though uh, it was by size and I want to say this is around the time that 300 bars and running came out and that wasn't getting replaced mm. Oh yeah, you yeah. kept that. So that so that, that, that one was like two, three songs. Worth. I was about to say that took a chunk. Yeah. Ah <laughs> uh, shit, Human Nature like three and a half, four minutes. Yeah, something like that. You was a big game fan for sure. Now, I, yeah. I, I, I was torn during the G Nine phase though, because I you know I was you know a big Fifty Cent fan too. Yeah, I was about to ask, were you a game fan due to G Unit or no? Yes. Okay, got you. Yeah, G Unit definitely put me on. I was I was so shitty when they like broke up though, bro, because. Let me tell it. It was about to take over the world. Let them tell it. It was about to take over the world. Yeah, they had the recipe. They did. They oh, had some. Shit. They had some shit cooking. They had the recipe. You had game coming out with that album. That was fire. Just signed Mob Deep. I don't really think MLP was going to really turn into anything. Or MLP. Olivia. Yeah. Or or Olivia. I can be honest about Olivia? that. Olivia. Who the fuck is Olivia? Uh, yeah. See. See. <laughs> See. That ain't okay. What? That's not a test of the yo it, point. No, it is. No. It is. Did she rap? No, no she, she was sang. A, she was a she on Candy Shop. Yeah, not listening to her. yeah, the one singing on Candy Shop. So that's, what? No, I'm just but, but, no, but they were trying to like. What'd put, she say on Candy Shop? I, I take hook. it to Candy she Shop. She said the hook. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why well, don't hear Fifty Voice saying that? <laughs> they did. They both did. They okay, were both. Okay, yeah, okay, they yeah. both did it. But they were trying to push her like as like a Shanti type. See, that was back when I did. They were. Was that his? That was that was the play. That was be his. That was the play. Yes, not a Shanti. Please. That's what they were trying to do. I'm telling nigga. I'm. As an avid, <laughs> as an avid G-Unit G-Unit fan, and a who was paying attention to everything, they were trying to push Olivia as their. They were, yes, nigga. It makes that was sense. The play. Yes. Hey, that's a good thing. Yes, but it never because she can't really sing for real. 
Yeah. She's got a good old candy shop. Nigga, that's a lot right. of layers. See, Malcolm's trying to get me to start really <laughs> talking. It's a reason why 50 Cent was singing with her. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> she just had Nate Dogg do it. Mm. Can you imagine if Nate Dogg joined the unit? It would have made sense. You see how he left that young buck, though? Do you even say Louis Banks? No. I was talking, I was talking about the new G unit signees, not the oh. original. <laughs> got you, yeah. got you, got you. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I was talking about the, sign, yeah, the new sign, uh, signees and shit. Now, it kind of disappointed me hearing about Lloyd Banks oh, you know, he turning into who he was. Well, Scrappy was in G unit, too. <laughs> Excuse me? Well, Scrappy was definitely in G unit. When, money, when money in the Bank came out, he's from Niggas Georgia. from here. What's the difference? Uh, okay, yeah, so I see. He, was, trying to... he was signed to G unit. I live in the West End, nigga, oh, so wait, I, I got to see Scrappy. niggas. Yeah, Lil Scrappy. Okay. Who you thought I said? I, I know you said Lil Scrappy, but I saw a Slim Thug in my head. Oh, shit. Yeah. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, when, when Money in the Bank came out. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how he, I did that. That was a G unit. That song, G Wait, wait, what song? Money, Money in the Bank. That was a G unit song? Yes. Cap. Hold on. Look it up. Hold on. Look it up. That's a big song, too. I'm a G unitologist. <laughs> Don't, don't say G-unitologist? That don't, don't say that. G-unitologist. That's, that's, <laughs> G-unitologist. <laughs> Do we have a picture of Lil Scrappy wearing, uh, wearing the G-unit Reebok? Oh, Probably got him with the chain. I don't know about the Reebok. The she got him with the chain. Okay, so it came yeah, out 06. 2006. <laughs> that's when Young Jock was on the top of the world. It features Young Buck. And labeled G-unit itself. Yeah. BME. Yeah. You're being me, click. Yeah. All right. So let me ask y'all. If you ever see a June in Trivia Night, just sign me up and just let me know the location. Oh, we're going to win. Isaac Hayes the third produced this one. We're going to win for sure. What the fuck? Same with that 70 show trivia. Facts. I got you. We just own it. I got you. Yeah. We could. Hey, if we rigged the themes for a trivia place that gives out the money prizes, <laughs> we would clean up like all week. We, there, clean up, we could clean up for a whole month. Like there was that day. spot that I got dragged to, Malcolm, with uh, <clears throat> with Nell's family. They mm-hmm. do music trivia. They do that shit. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, we could clean up, and they give away prizes every first Sunday. Because what I don't know, y'all might know. Hey, and with nigga, y'all, vice with versa. Y'all don't know, I vice might versa. Know. I was stuck, so I damn near needed y'all because I was capping for a table of five. I was saving five niggas. What they asked you, nigga? It was a uh, it was a music trivia, so they would play the songs, and the DJ would do a mix. But once the MC was like, all right, the game starts now. When you hear this song by this artist, you can mark it down. And it was like, bingo. So if you get five in a row, diagonal, up, down, don't matter, you win. Got it. And they was playing some shit, but I couldn't cap for everybody. And you can't look on your phone because there's a niggas monitoring and shit like that. Mm. So No Shazam, man. Nope. Nigga, they catch you Shazam and Snapchat and they going to call you out and be like, yeah, now nah, this nigga's cheating. Uh, you disqualified. <laughs> But I needed y'all because that was me and I was holding down a table of five and I couldn't do it. But they go back. Isn't that, isn't that like the worst, man? Like you're the only person who knows who knows some what's, shit what's going on. Dog, I literally niggas over here. Okay, who was that? Okay, who was that? All right, who was that? I'm like, nigga, you don't know Michael Jack. Nigga, you don't know Whitney Houston? Yeah, me, I would have been, been an ass. So I just would have been quiet and just marking up all my answers. <laughs> I'm definitely not recognizing Whitney Houston just by this voice. Nah, come on. Come on. Depends, on the song. Depends on the song. I was like, come on. Generally, by I voice, though, you can't recognize Whitney? She got that voice, nigga. Yeah, Everybody got that her, voice. Her, her, she may have her one of the most like, distinctive. Yeah. <laughs> now, if I hear her singing, I'm like, she's like Whitney Houston. Niggas like, it is. I'm be like, oh, okay. 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 But I'm not going to know that it's Whitney Houston. Got you. Yeah. See, uh, I'm like that with Luther. Anytime Luther come on, I'm going to uh, yeah, it was I'm, certain I'm gonna clean songs. up. Yeah, they don't play like the distinct part of the song either. They just play the song. Mm. Like, so it ain't like you just going. I'm like, nope, that was Curse. Uh, 16 Switches. <laughs> Look, you try to two. make the sample Actually, and shit. Uh, like. yeah. The song that sampled it. Cape. Yeah. Can't do that. Cause I tried actually, it. that was the remix because oh. the original had a different beat. Remember? Nigga, I tried that with the I, I said, hey, bro, come here. So he did this song, but there was a remix to this song. Can I count that? He was like, nah, I hear you though, but nah, that don't count. So speaking of remixes, <laughs> you know, a song that it doesn't get enough credit, it probably won't because of who's attached to it and what happened when it came out. Lil Wayne Wash My Shoes. Is that a remix? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, see, it's a remix, but you didn't even know it. That's a remix. <laughs> on Jaw 3, right? I mean, I mean, no I thought, my I, thought, shoes? I thought a remix had to have the artists on there with them to make the song a remix. Nigga, so no, isn't a remix just a remake of the original song? Anybody can do a remix. Yeah. It's more like a freestyle. I'm about to say, it made my brain like fart real quick. Yeah, I'm confused. Ask P. Diddy. <laughs> Even my brain fart just a little bit. Okay, the only reason why I say that, because 
from my understanding, when I see like remix, yeah. and I'm speaking to like you know that the OG version, that of late remix. '90s, mid two thousand, early two thousands era. Okay, and they would remix their songs, like the PIMP remix. You would get a uh, Fifty Cent is on that. Yeah, Pastor Kavassier, yeah. Part yeah. Two. Type shit. shit like that, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. See, I difference... see what you're saying, but also when the blog era came out, people were remixing other people's records. Yeah. So that altered what a remix was. I, I would say so. Okay. I was, yeah, okay. I would agree. Okay. And I even was... then, what you just named was an alteration okay. because the remix originally was specifically that. You would have a track and then it would get a whole new beat. Yeah. It would get a whole new sound. Like the Welcome and... to Atlanta remix. That's a remix to me. Jermaine Dupree? Yeah. You, yes. you just get new artist, but you still got the same original artist. Yeah. That was the original when you said that. But then the PIMP, that's the same beat. It's just a new nigga on there. Yeah. That was the new, that was that new version of The same way mixtape has evolved over the years, remix has evolved over the years. Yeah. I still think we we grew up in the greatest era of mixtapes. Agreed. Nobody can tell me differently. I don't think nobody's even gonna argue. Yeah. (laughs) Most niggas try to argue. Well, young niggas might might argue with you too. (laughs) Now, honestly... I, oh, I don't know, Jay Manley. What? Imagine you riding around, you got a new fire cassette. Uh oh. And you find out it's that new Too Short, it's a new Wu Tang, it's the new Nas. <laughs> it's a, like, that might be a fire mixtape era. Imagine you got a whole East Coast mixtape, then you got a whole West Coast mixtape. All cassette. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. I'm a gangster grills baby. So <laughs> okay, you. I'm not, trying, I'm not trying to hear none of that shit. You I'm not gonna hold you, bro. <laughs> but no, I'm saying it's like, cause you get niggas demos. I do on feel there. you. I do feel you. I do feel you. That probably is fired in the bitch, bro. But it's something about that, especially the illegal DJ drama phase, nigga. The Napster DJ drama. The illegal D- <laughs> nigga. Dog. <laughs> Napster and, drama. And, and, and Gucci spiraling out of control, gangster grills. Mm. Mm. Nigga. Oh my god. Okay. I see your, I see your bias. I see why you like Nick. Yeah, it's, it's like very it. biased. Yeah, I, I have no shame in it. Very <laughs> biased. I'm and very it, biased. All that shit came out in my very impressionable years too. But yeah, I feel you though, because yeah. bro, Nick, when when niggas when niggas drop drop three, no ceilings, dream chasers, cushion orange juice, nigga Verde Terrace, you got motherfucking like all the, the crazy mixtapes that was coming out back then, like when Lil Love ASAP dropped, how that shit went crazy. Nothing can replace. And you got like comeback season going crazy. Bam, bam. Nothing can replace me hopping in my '98 Nissan Maxima and uh, phone numbers come, uh, cabin fever coming cabin out, cabin fever, and blasting More phone about numbers, nothing? nigga. Blasting phone numbers. This back when nah, Big Sean was nah, that nigga nah, too. Nah, cabin fever dropping. That was a bro. Under, yeah. That year. was an underrated moment. It was hot outside too, nigga. So the windows was down. Yeah, that was couldn't tell me year. shit. Yeah, nah, nigga, that was freshman year for us. Yeah, was see, we was in eighth grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was a senior in high school. Again, my age is so. Now we're not get pet. Yeah, nah, that's. We wasn't smoking a lick of weed neither. You funny? I can't say the same. But like I said, yeah. I wasn't smoking a lick of weed. Can't nigga. say, but you know, yeah, it was nah. Like... Shit sounded good though, but, right? Yeah, man, damn, because that was when uh, I, I probably used to really coexist with a lot of potheads. I think they, I think they probably just knew like eventually. Yeah, he'll, he'll catch on. Yeah, he's one of us. He just he's, doesn't know it yet. He's just he's he be he he too stressed out it. not to. <laughs> he just doesn't know it yet. He be That's too stressed funny. out not to hit this shit anyway. Yeah, that nigga's, uh, yeah. <laughs> he'll catch up in a minute. He'll grow into it. <laughs> Pass that nigga oh, the shenanigans. Shit. We'll get the pop. We'll get there. <laughs> Pass that nigga. Oh man, damn. So that we had the best. But you could you, you you couldn't imagine that tape feeling. Of a brand. No, I could imagine. That's why I was telling him. I was like, that shit was probably yeah. fire, like putting in a demo tape. Cause my dad had all them cassettes and shit. My dad used to stay getting the cassette uh, tapes or the um the flex mixes mixes on uh, Hot 97 and yeah, shit. Yeah, like imagine you get a new mix, new mixtape first. And DJ put, Clue, there's a storm shit. You put it in there, and the first thing you hear is Brooklyn's Finest for the first time. Fire. <laughs> fire. And it's probably a different version of what yeah, you know. It's not, album. 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 it's not gonna be the yeah. album. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> like ooh. everything you and hear then is that, not that, even that gonna quality be the of it being a cassette right? tape. Right? That's what I'm saying. It hits different. Or you getting like them, like the old Ray tapes. Yes. Like yes. That oh, shit probably shit. hit crazy <laughs> different. Like before Wu was like really a thing. Mm-hmm. Damn. You getting I will shot, say as just a collector's tapes. item, I yeah. do as a collector's item, I do want the original purple tape. Just to, just to have it like in a case somewhere. That would be understandable yeah. for you to have. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. I can see that for sure. And I honestly it's a, it's could a, not yeah. even see it on display. I can see you putting it up. Oh, facts. Like, <laughs> not, niggas can't even see this. Like, like, yeah. I'll, probably, I'll probably show y'all. I was about like, to say, only Nick, certain niggas would know that this is even in the house. Facts. <laughs> facts, bro. 
Facts. <laughs> but see, there's one thing that I'm still chasing, and I wasn't even aware that it's like super duper fucking rare. What? Apparently, Supreme Clientele, you cannot find it on vinyl. On vinyl? At all. And if you do, it's like $500. I was going to say, why have I seen that in the past? I want to say in the past year, somebody somewhere on social media. It was somewhere. either it was either fake or <laughs> the like legit real dude. Was it like sealed and shit? Yeah. Niggas, oh, okay. Niggas are selling their purple tape for $250 on eBay. I bet. I bet. I don't know if it was the original bet. 95 one, not the 20th year anniversary. Really? Yeah. Damn. That's not that bad then. That's not, it? That's not that bad then. I, I thought it was a, re, uh, a repress. Nah, this is the 1995 one. Now, since wow. he was also going to say, though, with the vinyls shit, and I had to get hip, <clears throat> a lot of niggas will make their own vinyl and make the cover and then try to sell it like it's the original. So there's some there's some fake Supreme Clientele. Oh, it's some Soldier Boy type shit? Yeah, there's some there's, there's some bootleg Supreme Clientele vinyls out there trying to no, take advantage. No, it's not a bootleg. I mean, it's not a uh, on Soldier Boy shit. It's the actual album, but it's like a reprint. That's what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. I yes. thought you were saying like niggas was... But I'm saying as far as... Because the Supreme Clientele shit, though, the reason why it's not that many is because when they uh, when it came out, yeah, they only made like a certain amount of them. And they mm. made them for like each country and shit and shit. So it'll, it'll have, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm mistaken, it'll have like the, the country number. it was um it was made in printed on the back of it. Mm. All right. Okay. So you could probably go to like Japan and find some in some crates somewhere. You might be able to. Especially if they don't if they don't know what they got. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's supposed to be my favorite. Oh my god. When niggas bro. don't know what they got, I, I and you that. find that motherfucker. When I found that yeah. fucking thriller, the original <laughs> joint, that shit was only twenty dollars. <laughs> I'll tell you this right now, $20. Yeah. Yep, thanks. Bye. That's the original 82 boy. I was looking in the back. Yeah, because they didn't, bro, bro, like, you would think they would know. And it's, a, you, it's an old white nigga. You would think he would know Thriller. It's Michael Jackson yeah. Thriller. Oh, yeah, that's what I was trying to get at earlier. Yeah, like, it don't matter whether Mike black or white. We need that because if imagine if the nigga that great was a white man, yeah, and we just bro, had the, still, and we just had the <laughs> fan over. He's it. on our side. That nigga has stood on no, business no, no, when it comes no, to no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm saying. Imagine if there was a white artist that did what Mike did uh -uh. for us. It wouldn't hit. It, w it uh -uh. wouldn't feel as good uh -uh. being as much of a fan. Nah, it would. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Who is that for white people? Who Elvis. is white people? Is Michael Sharon. Jackson. Elvis. Is it Elvis? I don't, know. I don't. I don't hear. I don't really hear white. I don't hear, that was the old generation. It's Frank Sinatra. Frank, 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 Frank get a lot of respect for white people. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was just like Italians. Nah. <laughs> What's the difference? Are we having this conversation? Tell me the difference between white people and Italians. They're both European. Maybe Sicilians or Italians, because there's a difference there. That is a difference. Okay. When I say whites, I'm thinking like proud to be an American and I don't know my heritage. Oh, okay, gotcha. Don't tread on me, whites. All right, whites. You mean niggas that don't know their, their <laughs> great, 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 great grandfathers from Ireland? White. Those whites. Yeah. Got you. The McCormick. Them so Southern pride. Got you. Got you. I don't care shit about the tide. We love America. We love football. Yeah. Them niggas. Right? Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something, boy. <laughs> Them whites. <laughs> nah, nah. Although always predominantly and formerly considered white within the United States, <laughs> throughout the majority of American history, Italians' whiteness was often brought under scrutiny. Yeah. I was going to say, like, I don't think Italians like white people. I can understand that. From as much as I like indulge in Italian culture, yeah. I definitely understand the difference. Yeah. I just wanted to be funny with you. Okay. But they definitely be on that. Yeah, yeah. for sure. But it's crazy because some of them still be racist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You gotta be racist. You know, I I used to, I remember like in high school, niggas used to like call each other mooly, like to be disrespectful. Moolies. And I'm thinking in my head, like, do y'all know where that comes from? That is crazy. Yeah. Y'all used, used to do that to be funny? No, not me. But I remember like niggas who I would go to school with would call each other that, like, but trying to be like a disrespectful. Yes. They're trying to be disrespectful to the other person. But uh, it's like, if y'all really dig deep, y'all wouldn't be calling each other. Even if you don't like the nigga, you wouldn't be calling. You fucking that crazy. Yeah. yeah, like, that's like, if niggas really knew what that meant, like, it'd be a fight on sight. Yeah. And they call me that shit, though. But <laughs> well, that shit yeah. Like, he, said, he said, you're Moulin, you know, chocolate Paquette. <laughs> Bruh. I was like, there's no way. Like, you it was one of the situations where it's like, because I'm going to keep it a bug. Like, niggas was not watching The Godfather and shit. Yeah. Senior year and like. They didn't know. Yeah. Niggas heard somebody else saying it and thought it was funny. Well, shit. Niggas was watching Sopranos. Especially during. uh. Oh, yo yeah. Because nigga. you that old. Like, not even trying to be funny, nigga. My senior year of high school was 20. It was. When is Sopranos going to TV? No, yeah. it went out in 2007, but I'm saying like that shit was Ooh. already 
I'm a, I'm, t -Rose, I'm telling you, bro. Niggas was not watching the Sopranos in 2011 and party, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. That's I don't know. I mean, I niggas mean, wasn't hit. I would guess. I was about to say, I yeah, guess. They I wasn't. Niggas, was, niggas wasn't hit, bro. Because I would think. I'm about to say it's only four years after the show went off, so you know it still got its. Uh... No, I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna keep it a buck, T Rose. People in that generation, yeah. and I didn't discover this. I didn't know this either. Yeah. Most of our generation, and that extends to Jalen's age as well. Yeah. Did not discover Sopranos until the pandemic. Damn, I, I didn't about, know that either. I only knew about it for real because my dad put me on that shit. Yeah, my parents put me on for yeah, sure. Yeah, my dad was yeah. watching that shit and I just caught on type shit. And you got things, T-Rose, niggas ain't have HBO. Facts. It was a paid And that's during the time. cable era, too. I was yeah. gonna say it was a paid thing. A lot of people didn't have HBO. Like, if you had HBO, you were luxurious. We yeah, had HBO. I'm about to say, y'all niggas like I had HBO. Yeah. My daddy had HBO. I ain't have I HBO. Had, I mean, shit, let me stop talking. It was only HBO for certain nigga specials or yeah. concerts or something like that. Like, if a nigga had it, dang, I remember the HBO concerts. We never had stars, though. I remember the comedy specials. Damn. Y'all remember Janet Jackson concert? I don't remember, that. I don't remember the HBO concert. Or Usher? I, I never really liked live performance shit. I do remember the MTV Unplugged shit, though. Nah, I, was nah, I remember nah, that. Nah. Yeah. That, that, yeah, that was cool. Didn't Drake do about... Unplugged? You know, he did it behind the uh, mm. album. Mm, when, okay. uh, Thank Me Later. Thank Me Later is about to come out. Yeah. Oh, that MTV shit? Singing, singing lessons. Yep. He had the Lee on his in-ears. Yeah. Yeah. And it was in, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's when you, that's when they start being corny to you. Who me? Yeah, bro. I was a Drake fan when that came out. I know. When did he start being corny to you? That's what I'm trying to get you to talk the about. The Dada suit and the Tim. I knew it. I knew it. Dada, Dada, Dada suit. Yeah. So 2013. He made a legendary meme. You don't respect it for that. At that point, that's when I knew that like it was about to spiral out of control, and now we have what we have now. Mm -hmm. Like he can just do whatever he wants, and like, nobody's gonna say anything. Like he can get BBLs, he can get weave, he can get. Fake yeah. Jamaican and nobody's gonna say anything. Nobody's gonna say anything. Nobody's gonna say anything. He really might be the tough one, Don. It's like, but it's it's like, and that's all. I, all everyone was doing was just pointing it out that like he's doing all this shit, and if it was somebody else, there would be an issue. Y'all would be upper. roasting this nigga, but because he is who he is, I mean, niggas still roast him. But he just has more people defending. There's no real consequences, though. Yeah, I was about to say, there's just no He has not really faced the consequences for that whole story of Adidon posting his black face. So maybe he is shit. Michael Jackson. Not the call back. That's crazy. <laughs> what do you mean? Mike don't that? really face consequences for the shit he does. Oh, oh, that, oh, that. So I thought you were talking about the black and white shit. I didn't know you were talking about that. The, too. Oh, are you? Oh, if so, anybody else would have did that shit, you think they're getting away with that? What are we talking about right now? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm confused. Yeah, because there's so many ways you can say that with Michael Jackson. <laughs> what are we talking about? So we can be, we can be able to say page. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking about the song and also turning white. Okay. You're not the other shit. That's where, that's where I immediately went. That's why I had to nigga, get clarification. Shit? Did he face consequences on that either? No, nigga, we still that, better. Yeah, that's what he was talking about. The shit? kid shit. Oh, I mean... Mike didn't face consequences for he any did. of the fraud things I was he say, did. The nigga was he didn't. That's get... why I was trying to make sure I knew what you were talking no, about. No, I'm talking about everything. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Everything. Mike was the first Drake. I mean, wait, that's a crazy way to say that. What? Especially in this time when he keep on showing that glove off. Yeah. He has a glove, Drake? Did you see that yeah. first-person shooter video? <laughs> he's spinning around. And Maybe I didn't watch that video, but he has a glove on in that video. Yes. Nigga, he literally does a whole that thing whole where he spins around. That whole part is a Michael Jackson... Remember I cut it off? You did. <laughs> yeah, he... he Because I didn't even read the end of the song. Yeah, he, he, got, he went crazy. I'm not going to hold you. He, like, spun around at the whole... He did the Billie Jean yeah, thing. Yeah, and had the glove on. And then he, he did the statue thing. Yeah. Where he walked and the floor lit up? Yes. yes. He did that. He not me. Nigga, you not Mike either. But nigga, I can he pay did homage. This. <laughs> I can pay homage. Why can't he? Because in 10 years, Drake's going to be like, I never even listened to Michael Jackson. Same thing oh, you do with Pusha T. my God. And Joe Budden. If like, he like, come out saying, I never listened to Michael Jackson, there's no, nah. The Joe Budden one is kind of believable, but until you see the videos. Exactly. But, that's, what but, but that's why but the, it's the, not the believable. one is crazy. Because you can't you, highly you, praise a nigga publicly and then later... When you have a problem with yeah. it, say, oh, I never really liked that nigga. I'm saying the Clips, one is, the Clips one is only crazier because, nigga, you had a replica microphone with their signatures on it. Yeah. Like, you were real. a fan. He thought you, it was real. I mean, to, he admitted that. He my, addressed to my, that. To my, to my yeah, point. Yeah, he admitted it, but then he tried to flip it and say that he doesn't really know who he is or does, he's not irrelevant. He's not not a fan or I'll, impressive. I was going to say, to my point, that I we had this argument about the whole Babe and Soldier Boy shit a while mm -hmm. ago. He would have been on my side with the Pharrell and Clips putting him on bait, probably. Who? Drake. He would have said what? 
he probably would have said that he was influenced by like Pharrell and them as far as like the Bape shit if he was to be in the Bape and shit like that. Oh, and not, okay. and not, and not to have that, yeah, to have that microphone and shit. But like, no, he's saying later, not Soldier Boy. Yeah. Oh, not yeah. Soldier Boy. Got you. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's that's crazy though. Even though Soldier Boy put the world on Bape, but that's another conversation. I think it's a generational thing. But we don't have to have this conversation again. Soulja Boy made bait multi-generational. It would have died out had Clips and Pharrell just been the only ones known for it. <sighs> and Wayne? I didn't say Wayne. Well, I'm saying, though, because you got to think that hustle music video is what really, like... Kids these days don't respect Wayne, though. They're not looking at him for nothing. And that's a fact. I'm talking about back then, though. I'm talking about... he made They when made they... it... Soulja Boy made it multi-generational for it to still be existing right now. And when I say existing, I don't mean in business. I mean relevant to the youth. Because kids these days don't give a fuck about Lil Wayne. They don't even respect that nigga. They look at him as an old artist who fell okay, off. Okay, no, present day, present day, present day. Do kids even know about I Got Me Some Bape in present day? No, 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 but no. they know about Bape and his popularity in the youth. I'm about to say, Because regardless, of how popular Soulja Boy made it. The three artists that we just named, Clips slash Pusha T, Barrett, I mean, not. Clips, well, see, I, I only said Wayne because of that hustle music video and that jacket. I hear you. But I remember I'm that saying, jacket. I didn't three, see that jacket until he started wearing it. I hear you. But them three that we just named are considered old to the new generation. Yeah. But out of all three of them, they tie to Bape, which is now still known. Niggas still talk about Bape. So let me ask you this then. <laughs> Do you think that the I Got Me Some Bathing and they song did more for the company and the brand for kids than Wayne and the hustle music and that jacket? One million percent. Okay. They were just blocks all in the same okay. line. Okay. Yeah. See, that's, that's not, I, saying, see, not oh. saying it did not push the brand to okay. where people found out about it, but Soulja Boy did a thousand times more. All he did was put on a jacket. Soulja Boy made a whole song hyping up the brand. That in itself is already saying you did more. That's like a nigga just wearing a podcast hoodie versus a nigga going on somewhere and saying, yo, y'all should listen to the Brother Guys podcast. They hella dope. I just remember in that time, bro, like, that shit took over like the internet when that video came out. Like on blogs and shit and like the fashion blogs and shit like that. Like that, like I remember that being a moment. But the social boy shit created ringtones. So it's like it hit two different <laughs> it, it was such a That's gap. what I think. I think like Wayne Loki hit like that fucking like old era shit. Whereas like like you said, Soulja Boy had the When did Hustle music drop? Like 06, 07, maybe? Hustler music? 05, I think. I'm about to say. Remember, yeah. either 05 Same or 06. 05 or 06. That was 05, then. <laughs> uh, look, stop asking this nigga. I don't know why I just... Yeah. <laughs> he don't know. It was on the card, too. 05. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Hustler music dropped 05. I got me some Bates, and this was what, 07? I got me some Bates. Came out... Damn. What year did it? 2007. So, within them two years... All it was was just they was in the same line that just built on top of each other. But like Malcolm, to attest to Malcolm and to go off. Wayne that, hit the RBI. Soulja Boy hit the Grand Slam. Sure. I mean, you watch baseball, so I, I tried to. baseball yeah. terms. So. You know baseball. You know what that yes, means, Yes, right? I know exactly okay. what you mean. I'm okay. almost surprised Heroes doesn't know what that means. But you yes, know what that means? Yeah. I don't, yeah. So RBI, Wayne what scored, is RBI? but Soulja Boy scored while three other people, while the bases were loaded. Yeah. Soulja Boy just did basically to what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he had more impact. I was yeah. about to say because yeah. because yeah, yeah. basically <laughs> like Wayne started it, but then RBI's when he runs batted in. Yeah. That's where I was yeah. lost. Yeah. I was like, this nigga's yeah. initials. Soulja Boy <laughs> hit the Grand Slim with that with the Alchemy Some Bathing Ape song though. That's all it yeah. was. And on top of the fact, Soldier was much more into doing that. What we're in fake babes is crazy the, though. Uh, the digital era, so he had the the, the reach. I would wear some fake babes today. He had the reach even more, except like he knew how to utilize his reach <laughs> with the digital age and shit. That was like his whole persona. Yeah. It's like, nigga, I'm online. I got my own web. Like, this yeah. is me. So, like, he got the kids on lock. Wayne had the kids, but he had the older kids. He got like the older brothers. Little Soulja Boy got like the younger brother, middle kids type shit. And I feel Soulja Boy is more multi generational for the kids. Like, exactly. Wayne exactly. don't got no dance song that if you turn it on right now, kids might do. He tried Thanks. that way too late. Wayne tried to do it. Nigga, song? that. Uh, shit off a of C5. That is not a dance song. It's why ain't it? You talking about the uh, Green Ranger Part 2? 
You talking about the shit with Swiss Beach, right? Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I, Green I, I, Ranger yeah, Part Two was funny. I don't remember the name of the song. I don't. I personally oh, yeah. don't like that song either. What the fuck though? Where the yeah. love? Where the love what the girl? fuck though? That's not Where a dance love, record, though. nigga. They tried to push that shit as a dance record just because they People don't have. They just a made specific... dances too. They were trying. Okay, so I, I want to say they tried to push as a dance record, Malcolm, because the original Special Delivery by G. Depp. Is like known for like niggas like Harlem shaking to it in New York and shit. That's a different sound. So they try to. No, it's not. Special delivery? That's the same song. Yeah. We're same special. I mean, same uh, symbol. I mean, yeah. As the Green Ranger one, not the new record. That's the Up same. Uproar. Yeah, Uproar. That's the same sample for him. I'm pretty sure it's different. It's not. <laughs> special delivery? I know it sounds the same, but I'm like. I'm like, hey, I'm pretty sure it's different though, because that was the whole thing Swiss was talking about. Am I wrong? I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up right now. God damn it! Don't give me the spinning wheel. All right. Uproar. Lil Wayne. Uproar. Watch these niggas not. Oh, because folks tried to say it was the same beat, but it wasn't because of something that was in it. I'm pretty sure it was a sample. Contain sample of one song. You keep me hanging on. By the Rules Machine was sampled in one song, blew my speakers up, and was covered in one song, Uproar by Eight. Okay, so they're not really helping. Yeah, you have to look at who sampled uh, Special Delivery. Yeah. That list going to be long. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah. I thought that was the thing around it. I thought that was the thing around it, that when people were trying to point out the differences, that they were saying that it's a different beat, not even the same sample. Now, I might be taking it a, a step further, but I think so. Yeah. What sampled in one song, Green Ranger by Lil Wayne featuring J. Cole. Yeah, yeah. It's a different sample. What's the di- what's the difference? And I'm I guess I'm confused on that then. I, dog. To, <laughs> to me, <laughs> like said, it dog. sounds like the same shit. <laughs> but I, that's the point that they were standing on. The Swiss like it's it's identify interpre- the point. It's an it's an inter- <laughs> that's what you call an interpolation then. It's oh, not necessarily okay. a sample, it's an so, interpolation. So, so somebody replayed it. I had a joke. All right. I had a joke, made. but I'm gonna let it just die. I'm not gonna even say it because I'm. I knew you was taking it. Facts. You was about to be hella childish. I was, and that was months ago. That was years ago. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm talking about the first time ah, it happened. Dude, you, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm out of y'all. <laughs> y'all know. I don't know. Y'all know Biggie, right? Notorious B.I.G., right? <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Y'all know he has a song called Unbelievable, right? Yes. yes. Do y'all know who that is singing Unbelievable? The mic. Unbelievable. No, so no one knows here, right? We're trying to make sure. Is it not Mike? I thought it's I... unbelievable. Y'all know who that is? Uh, no. That is R. Kelly. <laughs> Prem sampled Kales for that. And Big told him how to sample it and put it in a beat. Wow. That huh. shit blew my fucking mind. Produced by DJ Premier. Yeah. yeah. He sampled R. Kelly for that. Contains samples. Of Impeach the President by the Honey Drippers, Your Body's Calling by R. Kelly, and The What by Biggie and Method Man. Yeah. That's why I said Michael Jackson. Because Michael Jackson has a He song. has a song called Unbreakable. Okay. And that's on the 2001, but that was a posthumous verse. Oh, and Biggie's on there? Yeah, he's on that song. Okay. That's their song. That's the song they got together. That's the only one they have, right? That's the only one they got yeah. together. At least that's public. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's public. Because they actually. Mike fucked with Biggie. He was like, yeah, I like that. Yeah. I fucks with this nigga. <laughs> he likes him. You believe that story about the game and Michael Jackson? Uh, what, what? Michael Jackson was trying to help the uh, hood squash the beat between the game and 50 Cent. I could see it because Mike was a big 50 Cent fan. Mike was a big 50 Cent fan. So I could see it. Yeah, but do I, I don't believe know, it? Though. You don't think he called the game and was like, hey. <laughs> What's his name? Brian? What's his name? Jason. Uh, Jason. Jason. Same thing. Yeah. Brian, Jason, same nigga. <laughs> is, this, is, this, is this Jason? Is this Jason? <laughs> Come on, man. You yes, gotta squash is, it, man. You guys, you guys are gonna take over this the rap Michael. game. Come I on. love Fifth, man. You I love I love 50. And your album is amazing. Yeah, they could probably start a running, beatboxing running, on that Running with Tony Ayo. <laughs> Mike gives me the vibe that he really fucked with Tony Ayo's verse on running. Dr. Why some, is he fuck with It'd probably be some like, um, like unpredictable shit. Like, Michael Jackson, why do you know Tony Ayo's verse on running? <laughs> <laughs> because I love it. I just love the way, the way, the way he came on. I think funny. he will start beatboxing too, just to give you an example. Too. <laughs> I ain't Nelly, but my dance with Eagles on, girl. <laughs> He was like, Mike, 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 I Mike. I ain't that way, but my dad's what he's just like. Mike, come on, man. What's the bass of your voice? Use your real voice when you're talking to me. That's funny as hell. Oh, man. I mean, I don't, I don't, 
We have 40. Oh, shit. This ain't even feel long. I ain't gonna hold you. I've been bullshitting Loki. It's 46. I'm like, <laughs> Pause. I said this didn't feel that long. Okay, so. Yeah. He's yeah. Gay. Y'all ready to wrap it up? We can. We can. That was gay. Yeah. Pretty gay. <laughs> All um, right, <laughs> <laughs> we get the fuck out of here. Right? Y'all got episode- nothing else to say? Talk about something. Let's wrap it up with something. You know? uh, uh, shit. Ooh, 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 ooh. kill him, ooh. Terrio. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, what's the white guy's name from Hot Ones? Sean Evans. Okay, so this might be a little dated, but it's the principle of the situation, and I just want y'all perspective. Okay. So y'all know he was dating an adult film star, right? Apparently they broke up. And they broke up that. when their relationship went public, and Adam-22, again, this is dated, this happened months ago when this comes out. Adam-22 was like, congratulations, she has Firebox on Twitter. He said that to him. He said pussy. Okay. Oh, you, seen, you seen the tweet? Yeah. Okay. Word. Now, I seen the screenshot of the tweet. I don't think I've seen the tweet. Adam 22 said this to the yeah. post the yes. breakup or uh, so look, I did some research. Yet. I did some research. Mm. I went to Pornhub, I searched her name because I didn't know who she was. Mm. She definitely got flipped by Adam and his wife. Oh damn. So he's speaking facts. Oh. The, uh Lena Plug the plug has a show called Plug Talk. Plug Talk. Or, they, or, fuck, they fucked the porn stars on there yeah. together. Yeah. And she was on the episode. Wait, what? Like they do a pod, then they fuck. Yeah, interview, then fuck you. The For real? If what she was talking about is, I think they fuck then interview. Oh, they don't. Oh, I thought. <laughs> okay, that's the way I would do it. We could have it's like a post game interview, you know. <laughs> yeah, from what I've seen, yeah, it was, watch, yeah. we could watch the film. Post game interview, we, interview we, is hilarious. But I, I brought that up though to ask, what like, the fuck. Not saying it has to be that extreme. Like your partner is a porn star that gets outed, and your relationship gets outed or anything like that. But mm-hmm. like, let's say. I cannot re- rework this to make this make sense. Let's say that like you're dating somebody, right? Mm-hmm. And it happens to come out that they have a kind of a crazy past, but they with you and they don't own that no more. And you weren't like privy to this until it somehow got blown up in a way. Present day, like how are you going about that? Are you like having if a I- conversation or are you just breaking it off? Like, what are you doing? So you're saying I don't know about the past at all. You don't. And you're and but you and you really she n- checks off everything on Malcolm's fucking list. She is the ultimate Malcolm 2K creator bitch. Well, see, I'm under the I'm under the same belief. This uh, okay, man. so this is gonna be kind of crazy, but ride, ride with me. Go on this ride with me. Mm-hmm. It's kind of the same to me when you've been raising a child and you find out the child's not yours. Our whole relationship was built off false pretenses, so mm-hmm. now the relationship has to cease. And she can't argue that. Yeah. Drove. Like if you would have told me and I decided to move forward, then cool. But like, like let me know. Yeah. Let me know you was wilding. Yeah, if you had friendly pussy back in the day, I need to know about that. Yeah. Zeros. Initially, I it, it went bad. That's why I just started looking up. Cause it was like in my head, it was all bad. Like it went terrible. Has this happened to you before? And then no. if you find out, no. and then when you find out, like the sword you really rocking with. Fuck the nigga you think is lame and don't got no respect for it. <laughs> That's ego. <laughs> is it? It's like, you let this nigga fuck? Now yeah, I'm, I'm, bro, I'm not going to... Regardless like, of how you feel, it's still ego. Bro. No, not really. No, it's not. Like, it's no, like, it's not, Because it's not about me. It's like, I put you on a pedestal. I'm yeah, like, like, you're, like, you're woman, better than this. As my woman, I put you on a certain pedestal. This nigga smokes cigarettes. I guess it is ego because at the end of the day, you're letting me down. Cause I put you I'm on about to say, stool. regardless how you Damn, put it, not, nigga, bro. it's ego. Regardless of how you want to paint the picture, well, look, my that's nigga. going to be my ego. Cause no, like, no, I thought you was I'm not than saying that no, you're I, wrong. I, I, mean, I hear you. I yeah. hear you. I hear you. No, do, I'm trying really just to say, really identifying what it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, regardless of how you want to paint it, it's an ego. I'm not gonna hold you. I, I'm thinking of a situation right now to where once I found that shit out, yeah, <laughs> I hit the road, Jack. <laughs> but why is that though? Why? I think highly of myself, fam. So it's like, I just, you just, and nigga, that's ego. <laughs> I think we accepted that. It can be ego, bro, but yeah. like, there needs to be some accountability on her part, too, bro. I'm that's not all saying, I'm saying, all I was just saying that it's still an ego thing, regardless of how you paint it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can still do that, but I'm just saying. Yeah, I think her doing it, she's already taking accountability for it because uh, she told you about it. She did it. It is what that's it is. That's her accountability part right there. Yeah. But, so I'm saying taking accountability for the, for, for the actions that come after me finding that shit out. <laughs> okay, oh, no. yeah, nah. Can't nobody else take accountability for your actions. 
You gotta be able to receive the fact that I won't ever talk Vicarious, to you ever again. Vicarious yeah, yeah, accountability yeah. is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but not knowing and finding out. But yeah, not knowing. That's, that just has wow. to suck. Cause it's like, like I was kissing you in the tongue, like sucking on your tongue and shit when you kiss. That just that just hurt. That's yeah, all. It just, just hurt. You was eating that lame nigga ass, bro. Bro. What? So many disgusting possibilities that you just have to sit with. Mm-hmm. Nothing you can do about it. But I'm under the belief that any woman you get with that's not a virgin has fucked the lame nigga. Mm-hmm. You just gotta, yeah. You just gotta, yeah. But see, that's okay. That's that pessimistic thought. You just I fucked lame bitches. No, I just I fucked lame bitches oh, before. Oh, I'm just talking shit. Yeah, I fucked lame oh, okay. bitches before. So like, yeah. So I can, yeah. So I was trying to tie it back. I can, you feel me? I was about to say that's more realistic. <laughs> than anything. Hold on. That's yeah. more realistic than anything. <laughs> See, that's that pessimistic. He Bro. instantly thought, nah, bitch, this nigga lame. Why you do that? I pasta. <laughs> that's still funny to me. I'm sorry. Nigga, you just can't talk. <laughs> Postimistic is crazy. Postimistic. Postimistic is wild. <laughs> Yeah, so like, so so, but just like, so y'all would y'all would rather um, her, you know, just be up front, straight up, like, yo, I used to get down. That's all you can ask for, man. For sure, okay, that's all you can ask for. If I find out later that you was wilding, that's crazy. I'm about to say because now I'm thinking what Uncle Malcolm's thoughts. Like, you based the whole. I'm I'm going off of what you told me, yeah, and what you haven't told. Well, I wouldn't know what you haven't told me until now. I will, I will say I I have always respected when a shorty's like pulled me to the side, like she seen me fraternizing or whatever, and be like, yo. you used to gawk that. You see, yeah, I used to do that, my nigga. That's happened to you. Like, the shorty has been had enough respect to, for you to do that before y'all yeah. even. Were y'all together or were y'all just. No, we weren't. But then after you. that, I was like, oh, this is too close to home. Got you. I um, can't move forward. Has that happened? Malcolm, has you, have you ever gotten that respect? So. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> have, have you given that respect? <laughs> That ain't what I asked, Jay Manley. Hey, what you trying to say? <laughs> yeah, hold on. What you that trying to say? That ain't what I asked. Hey, we why you doing it like that? I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was too easy. It was right there. It was right there. I'm sorry. Let me chill. Damn. That's crazy. What, what? I do to him? Look at niggas doing that shit. I'm sorry. But sometimes I was proud to be like, that, 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 that nigga Malcolm really pulled that shit off, man. Like, for that, for that alone, I'm sorry, bro. Malcolm got to like be like in the like pimp of the year. Like Hall of Fame, of like you know, you know, like the NBA did that all like that seventy five year on. all team. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> like, Malcolm's name got to come up in that seventy five year like all time. Oh man, he got like, a jacket. Most player is shit ever, nigga. <laughs> I'm, bro, pause, bro. But like I was like looking at this nigga like in like astonishment, like damn, like. <laughs> <laughs> Respect. You mean in the moment or like, when you found? Did you find out? Or not in the moment, but like it? when I found out, got everything I was like just looking like. First of all, you got balls. Pause. <laughs> Second of all, like you know what's fucking sick. Respect. There was more niggas giving this nigga props than being like, what the fuck Re- is no, wrong I, with you? I, I was one of them. When I, I, mean, I found out later, but like I was like, respect, 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 my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and the crazy thing, I was. I didn't really have much. I was just like, that's crazy. That was me. See, Rose didn't tell me I was wilding. I was about to say, look. It is wild, but it's just gangster, though, bro. Really? I think that's, that's, why, that's why I fuck with it so tough. It's like, it's like the, because when he told me like the first time, you could just hear it in his voice, like the, the like, I don't give a fuck that's in his voice. And I think that, Right there is what like made me like you know what man me and Malcolm was gonna be friends for a long time because I, 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 I fuck with that type of shit. I knew the day that come that he would. Okay, I don't know honestly how the nigga feels about it. Actually, I ain't even gonna talk about it no more because I know he wants to move on. What talk we, about? We, it. we just want to move say, on. No, I'm sorry, Malcolm. Say, say your last. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Malcolm. I'm, really I'm sorry, Malcolm. I'm, I'm sorry, Malcolm. I'm sorry, Malcolm. Now that people's interested, they listen. They interested now. <laughs> so what I was going, I was like, that's what I mean. It's not my place. Say nothing. I don't know these niggas. Mind you, this is only me like maybe a year you or two. You trying to say neutral. You, you, I'm only you, a year you or two into the motherfucking good vibes you, yeah, situation. Facts. Like, this is, I'm new here. You playing your part. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> but me and Malcolm have the closest relationship out of everybody in there. So it's just like, I, I mean, they just happen to be related. I don't know. Hey, never mind. I'm just going to stop talking. Let's move on. Nigga, it's I over. Forgot what we were talking about. Yeah. Episode over. Oh, no, oh, we were we were in the middle of something. Oh, we were talking about like we dating, weren't? basically like dating somebody who might have a history. Like, how would y'all go about it, basically? Oh no, 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 yeah. no, no. T Rose asked me, "Have I given somebody that courtesy?" Yeah. Like oh, how the shorty gave you the you, courtesy? 
<laughs> no, has somebody given me the courtesy? And you yeah, flipped and I flipped it. it. Yeah, I flipped that's it. Yeah. I was saying it funny. But has so, somebody given you the courtesy though? Dog, I was in a situation where this shorty was talking to me and she was like, she was like, oh, I really like you. So I'm going to just tell you before you ask. And this is and that. And she told me that she was drunk one time and fucked my cousin. I was like, oh, you're cooked. Oh, you cooked. You Wait, cooked. that cousin? Of course. Uh, I was like, you're cooked. See, in that case, I agree with y'all 100% with the ego. Hey, bitch, no, no, no. In that case. You're cooked. Yeah, like, you're, you're out of here. There's two people in this world that I will never <laughs> in my life go behind. And, and that's one of, one of them. And I was like, that's one of yeah. them. <laughs> See, that'd be, that'd be what it is with me, too. It's like, once you share that with somebody, yeah. taint it. Like, if it was a nigga like behaving, maybe I would have thought about it. <laughs> David got taste. Yeah, David, David got. Yeah, yeah. He, he got an exquisite he moves, taste. He moves respectably. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. He got he got taste. So you, can, I can see why Malcolm says that. This is so funny because this is all rooted in the ego. That's what's so funny yeah. about this. Bro. Hey, look, I'm like, fuck. In this, this situation, hey, this, I'm this, on y'all side with the ego. Hey, this this, is, this is my language, though. <laughs> this your language. I was like, yo, I was just. I'm sitting there on the FaceTime laughing internally to myself. I might have been laughing out loud, but I was just like, you're a cook. Yes. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. It's burning. You know, it's really bad when it's like, it gets to the point where it's like, I don't even want any like favors from you. Like, this is just over. And are we defining like <clears throat> sexual favors? Crazy past by like how much? Whatever you or, think is crazy. Okay. Yeah, whatever okay. your threshold is. Because okay, gotcha, to me, gotcha. that's a crazy past. Just that one? <laughs> just that one. <laughs> I hear you. That's okay. what I'm saying. In your case, it's just, it no, just takes two one. two niggas I will never or two. in my life fuck behind. Okay, so it's, just, it's two niggas for sure, but... For sure. A thousand million percent. <laughs> a thousand million. That's a lot of O's, yeah. my nigga. He's sure. Uh, okay. I remember one time All I had right. somebody try to do that, and they was like, yeah, and then I just want to let you know, like, we had history, and we may be going on a trip together in a few months, so... But like it's gonna be like a group trip though, so he'll we'll just be he'll just be there. But in my mind, I'm like, <laughs> you're already cooked <laughs> before the trip. You cooked? yeah, like yeah, like I'm I'm already plotting on how I'm gonna break this off. <laughs> I think I already figured it out. <laughs> yeah, see, I was just like, hey, yo, that's was crazy. But to follow, but to but follow up, I really like you, so I'm gonna tell you what I fucked your cousin. It's crazy to be. But she was trying to be honest, though. She was trying to be respectful. She was yeah, trying to be honest. Yeah, she was. She tried. She just didn't understand how that was going to yeah. look to me. And honestly, you know, not even women, just like people and relationships, right? Mm -hmm. If it's a situation like that, you got to have an understanding that like it's, she had to have had in her mind, like, he's probably going to stop fucking with me after this. I don't think she did. That is a the, lack of the, emotional awareness. I was to, just about to say that I don't think she had the, that. Awareness to to, uh, to put all that together. Yeah, that's a, a, a severe lack of emotional awareness. Yeah. You have to work through all of the possibilities if you're ready to say some shit like that. Yeah, At that no. point, she wasn't being a realist; she was being an optimist. But it's funny because she thought I fucked some like lame ass people before. What based off of Twitter? <laughs> based off of Twitter? Yeah. Why you say based off? Of I'm just asking. Uh -oh. No, no, I'm, I'm, no, because I'm about to. <laughs> you know why that's funny? Because that did come up. Twitter did come up in that conversation. Oh, I'm, yeah, honestly, I only say that because I've had that conversation too, like based off of tweets. Yeah. You think I fucked somebody? Like, no, I just, I'm not a talk to people. I'm not a Oh, dick. no, no, no. She know that we fucked, but. Oh, are you was fucking them? Oh, shit. Because of the internet. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> I can see that. All right. I don't have anything Y'all ever been else, accused so. of fucking oh. somebody that y'all didn't fuck? <laughs> yes. Yes. Did Hell you, yeah. Did you, did you prove yourself? Uh, I tried to prove. I think the situation proved it. itself. The situation proved itself, and I'm not going to say anything more. That you didn't fuck them. Yes, they didn't. They didn't believe it, and I didn't really have no proof that we didn't fuck because it's like we did not fuck. So I was trying to stand on something that we never. I was like, we didn't do it, and me and Shorty both was like, yeah, no. We was like, nigga, no, that's not even no. One time, this girl I was dating asked me. I think she asked me who all I fucked. I don't remember what the conversation was, but I said her name. And she was like, oh, I knew it! Because this is that. I'm just like, wait, wrong one. The, the other one. Wrong one. <laughs> <She> <laughs> Two people that had the same name. Stupid as hell. She but she that. knew both of them, though. So when she uh, found out about the other one, she was like, oh, oh, like, was hella surprised. And I was just like... Oh, wait, was she surprised because she didn't expect you to be? 
she just didn't expect that us to have that relationship. Gosh, I was about to say, damn, she really doubted you, bro. Fuck her. I don't know. She did doubt me. Oh, yeah, fuck her. Yeah. She oh. didn't have me fucked up, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah you feel me? She had... <laughs> yeah, bro. Fuck you her. heard something funny? <laughs> what? I'm just saying. When, when that whole Brianna shit went down. <laughs> I got to listen, 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 listen. I got a DM like, why well, I didn't know you like big girls. <laughs> you got a DM saying that? Was it from, from a shorty? Was it from a shorty who, no, it was from a shorty who like I had been like uh, conversing with. She's like, well, wow, I didn't know you. I didn't know you liked them big. <laughs> Until this day, that's the funniest shit to me. I want to know your response now. No, I laughed. Okay. Funny. You still got the I'm DM? sorry. Fuck! <laughs> if you got the Neo, please. He said, I don't think, no, I think she deleted her Twitter, bro. So uh, I think it disappeared. I say that is yeah. a hilarious thing just to have in my notes. <laughs> but no, bro, no, bro, I, I, bro, I laughed at that for like a no, week straight, bro. But I was so embarrassed shot. to tell anybody. <laughs> oh, Taylor, you should have been embarrassed to go places with her. But that's neither here nor there. Hey, see, I'm glad we're to a point now to where if I was seeing you move, be like that, I'd be like, hey, bro, this really what you're doing? You sure? Because if you're sure, I'm with you. But if you're not you sure, crazy? then say something. The embarrassment kicked in like six months into me and her dealing with each other. And then that's why like, you would always see us pop up like separately. But Actually, we don't got to yeah, do a deep five. That yeah. was so 94, if you, if you missed it. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, no, that DM was funny as fuck to me, though. Y'all ever tried to go out of your, out of your type just to see what it was like? I don't mean personality wise, I mean looks wise. Yeah. So you tried to fuck a white girl too, bro? No. I knew you was gonna <laughs> go there. No. It, she was not white. I didn't go that far out. I was just playing. <laughs> I just went, uh If y'all were to indulge a white woman, how do you think your bro, break would be? Bro. No, answer my question. <laughs> my no, question. answer my question. Yeah, look, cause he got too quiet. So something happened. I mean, so I don't want to keep on harping on it, but shit, that low key. Oh, was that's his, the situation. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was low key. It yeah, yeah, yeah. gave it a chance, and yeah. it didn't work out. Damn. So last time I gave it a chance, I remember I was like twenty two, and I fucked this fat eighteen year old bitch, right? Girl, was yeah. it fire? If I don't remember, I have to say no. Okay. Yeah, that's valid. Mm. That's valid. Yeah. All right. That's, that's valid. <laughs> All right. But no, I was going to say, though, if y'all, if y'all were to be, like, the type to dip in the milk, you feel me? Like, you think your rate would be, like, high, or you think it would just be, like, the same? What, what month is it? this episode coming out? It's 219. Somebody tell me. You said May, right? Yeah. We in May now? May, yeah. We either May or June, dog. All right, I'm going to tell the truth. I fucked a white girl before. For real? Yeah. I knew it, Kendrick. Really? I knew it. I knew it, Kendrick. Really? I did. <laughs> I was a kid. I was a kid. Okay. You I were, was a kid. Okay. Okay. Never like I was under 18. Oh. Yeah. Does that count? Does it count? I don't count. I was in high school. Yeah. I was 16 when I was my I don't count that shit though because I didn't. You fucked a white girl at 16? No, I wouldn't. No, I didn't fuck no white girl. No. <laughs> oh, I'm about to say, but see, this is the thing though. I was a kid. I've been lying for four years about never doing that. Like, ever since we moved to Atlanta, I've never told the truth about that. For real? <laughs> I became a newbie. Damn, so every time that comes up, you just kind of just get quiet looking around. No, I just lie. I'd be like, wow, that's crazy. But do you, you, like, but do you have like a split second where you like, I never fucked a white girl? No, nah, I know how to lie good. I stand on it. <clears throat> yeah. But Kendrick could have left that off the album, though. Now, every nice. time I hear about sciatica nerves, I just think about that. <laughs> he had to tell his truth, man. I didn't. I will say when I was at, at Vincent's, like they were, it was they was hounding you, bro. It was yeah. If I was on that, bro, I could have been on that badly. Mm. I could have been a white girl reaper. But I will say though, both say you're a tall black guy. Yeah, both of the times where white girls wanted me, like they came on to me. I never went. I never. Yeah, it's yeah. I never went out there. Yeah, I never went that way. They came to me. I've told the story on here one time before. Did one, this girl hit me up. She got my number because she said she was trying to smoke and we linked up and she said, oh, I don't smoke. Oh, yeah. She came after me. She was, I was just like, So what are we... The white girl? Yes. Pretty straightforward. And I'm sitting there in the car in Broward trying to pass the blunt. Like, so what are we doing here? Then I had to put it together. I'm like, oh, she wants dick. Yeah. She wants some... You didn't give it to her. Nope. Well, if this was 1920s, you would have been being chased by a white mob already. Just because yeah, you rejected and, her. And he was smoking weed too? Was it illegal yet? Or no? Huh? Weed? Was it illegal yet? In I think 1920? it was 37, right? When they got illegal? 
Yeah. When weed was legal? It was either 27 or 37 when it became illegal. <clears throat> but yeah, let's wrap this up. This has been episode Bench. 249 of the Brother God's Podcast. No, I'm just playing. Oh, 219 shit. of the Brother God's Podcast. Oh, it's 220. This is 220. This has been episode 220 <laughs> of the Brother God's Podcast. Thanks for watching. I can't believe I just admitted that with this flag right here. I, I didn't know. even... Oh, that's crazy. He's going to repent. It has a white outline, though. He's going to... <laughs> nigga, no. <laughs> that's the episode. Yeah, we out. In we out. Shit, please. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't applaud. <laughs>